What's up, guys? It's Nathan here, and we are here for the one of the final for the final day before the big video tomorrow night. And guys, this is awesome because right here we got three trucks to go through, and let's just say that this is going to be the best one yet. So we're going to get right into it. So as you guys know, this case right here, then case K, one of the hardest cases for me to find. At first, I only had Rottweiler. Then I, a couple of months later, I found Cletus in higher education. And then, just a couple of days ago, as you guys have seen, I found Titan and Ice Cream Man. Now, you know, there's only two trucks out of here that I want even more. But, there's, but I finally found one of the best trucks. So let's get it on, guys. Because I finally found it! Gas Monkey Garage! And not only did I buy one... But I bought two, and not only two, there's a third one on the wall. Let's go ahead and rip into them. We're going to rip them both. Could absolutely tear into this package, because this is the greatest truck, I think, in the history of the Hot Wheels Monster Jam series. Man, I I had to play the theme with it. One sec, I have to get another thing set up. All right. So there you go, guys. The Gas Monkey Garage. I finally have it. Take a look at the card. Gas Monkey Garage 2017 new truck for the card. Two of them, which is awesome. You guys are probably wondering, well, Nathan, why do you have three gas monkeys? Well, as many of you know, my philosophy is I buy one to keep in package, I buy one to open, and sometimes I'll buy a third to customize. So one of these is getting a custom. Let's go ahead and get into it. Gas Monkey Garage. This thing is absolutely insane. Like, I even though there's a couple little things with it, I couldn't be happier with this because Gas Monkey is my favorite, one of my favorite trucks. My favorite one is sitting over here, right? Is sitting over on the side, ready to go up next. But let's see, get into this, guys. We'll take a look at the Gas Monkey. My oh my, is this truck beautiful? So, the amazing clear graphics. Gas Monkey Garage on the door, you got the blacked out Monster Jam logo, which looks so sick. No taillight, but no taillight decal, I can deal with that. You got Gas Monkey Garage on the roof. You got the GMG logo, or wait, did I say that? That's not the roof, that's the, that's the trunk, I'm an idiot. <laughs> GMG on the roof, and the Gas Monkey Garage mascot logo on the hood with the monkey. This thing is sick. I love it. It's got the lime green rims. Now, I know in real life, this is more of a kind of muted green, but I like this color for Gas Monkey more because it just kind of pops. To me, it pops more. And this thing... Oh, baby, this thing is sick. I can't stop messing with it. This thing is awesome. I've waited like eight... I've waited like six months to have this truck. But you know what? It was worth the wait because that just makes it so much, just so epic. Like, I just can't stop losing over this. You see here, you got the blacked out Hot Wheels logo, which is amazing. You got the rounded roll cage. It's got BKTs. Again, the Monster Jam logo. This thing is so sick. You know, it's missing the lines, but I can deal with that. But dude, this, I, I just can't believe it. The body is spot on. Like, I actually have a 70 Super B right here. In pack, I just, 70 Cornet Super B. Right here. And you can see it's pretty much spot on to the real truck. Oh, again, all it's missing is the front and the rear, which might, if I get find another one of these, I might take it apart and 
snag the grill and stuff from it. But I also wanted to show off something else because the one that goes out of package is going to be displayed with this. Gas Monkey Garage truck and trailer from Greenlight. So that'll be an epic kind of display. And don't I have my other Cornette? Oh, here's a better example for the Cornette Super V so you can see what it looks like. The Hot Wheels Cornette Super B. You see, it is almost dead spot on. To me, this body is perfect. And then, uh, I just gotta do this real quick. Uh, give me one sec to find one thing to make a little thing here. So as you guys know, Gas Monkey did a kind of a video promo thing for their truck before it debuted, and it involved them crushing one of these. A Dodge Challenger Hellcat. Which kind of, I, I, I'm a Dodge guy, that's why I think Gas Monkey is one of my favorite trucks, is because I am a full-on Dodge guy. I love Dodge, always have, always will. Doesn't get Chevy or Ford or nothing, they're okay, just Dodge has always been my favorite. So I think that's why Gas Monkey is one of my favorites. And when they crushed the Hellcat, it broke my heart, but still, it was awesome. And we had two cr Gas Monkeys crush it. But anyway, so let's go ahead and take a look at the flag here. And you can see the kind of muted green. Now the muted green with the Gas Monkey logo. The small Gas Monkey Garage logo above the Hot Wheels logo. Looks amazing. You got the whole Gas Monkey Garage logo on the other side. Go ahead and mount the flags up. And this one doesn't want to fit for some reason. There we go. So there we go, guys. Gas Monkey Garage. I'm so happy to have this. My family is getting so irritated with me because all I'd ever talk about when we go to a store is, I can't find Gas Monkey. I can't find Gas Monkey. Go to one of the stores, and they happen to have a Gas Monkey. And the cool thing is, when I went to the store, same place where I got uh, uh, Titan, Ice Cream Man, and a couple other trucks that I didn't have, um... When I went in there, I was going through the pegs, and I saw they had Titan, so I moved that. There was an Alien Invasion behind that, and I looked behind Alien Invasion without moving it, and I could see about this much of the truck. Like, I could see about that much of the truck, and I immediately snagged it, went up to the service desk, asked them, hey, do you guys happen to have any more of this? Because I've been looking for this specific truck for many months. They go into the back and bring out an entire case. And I and I, they said, well, do you just want one more of this? Or what? I mean, I'm like, if, the, if one's okay, but if there's a second, I'd take it. So I got three gas monkeys out of that, and I that's where I also grabbed my ice cream man from. But this is awesome. So I finally have gas monkey. But I'm thinking, I'm I'm wondering, you guys are probably thinking, what the heck is gonna top this? Well, there's one truck that can even remotely. Top Gas Monkey. Ladies and gentlemen, coming straight from my good buddy, Justin Sykes on the more on the on the Triple Threat Central Series, ladies and gentlemen, Megalodon! Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, the lookalike truck, my truck that a lot of people say I look like the driver, Justin Sipes. Guys, this is the Megalodon! I had to get, I had to put this in with the gas monkey because of the fact that it works so well. It just, the truck, this truck's absolutely beautiful. And sorry, turn off the Kindle I borrowed to play the music. But yes, let's tear into Megalodon. Megalodon! Ah, get out here, Megalodon! Oh, you've had a little insert. Oh, that's 
some paint inside there. Yes! Megalodon! Yes! Now the cool thing is, so I think it was last Saturday we went into Bloomington, Illinois, and we went to a little store called Farmer Fleet. That's where we find Gas Monkey. So the next day, I'm asleep, you know, because it's I usually sleep in a little bit on Saturday and Sunday. My family comes down and says, hey, we're going to go somewhere. We're, we're thinking about going to the cater. Do you want to go? I'm like, yeah, okay. Go to the other Farmer Fleet. They had this case. And I'm like, well, wait, let's stop at Target. I wasn't, I was like, okay, so I've got the gas monkey case. The only other one I need is the Megalodon case. Walk in there, and I see backdraft on the front of the pegs, and I'm like, holy crap, it's the Megalodon case. I go rifling through the pegs, and luckily they had two Megalodons. The other one is up on my wall here, as you can see. There is Megalodon, and there's gas monkey up there. So there is Megalodon. Let's go ahead and pull Gas Monkey out of the way because it is time for the Megalodon to shine. And this is cool because I actually got to see the prototype of this at Vegas when I was at the Hot Wheels meeting with Monster Jam OCD and Monster Jam Action 81. God, this truck is just so beautiful. I'm so happy to have it. Like, I finally get the truck that I that is amazing. See, so again, what most guys saying, it's got the kind of the uh, hazy kind of darker windshield and it's got the little wrinkles on the head which are actually textured it's amazing and my lights are causing such a glare one sec push lights up a little bit so they're not glaring as bad and you get to see the little wrinkles on the head the eye of the megalodon looks amazing so you got a little bit of a wrinkle down here underneath the eye which that looks really cool and it's got the molded eye socket. Amazing. The teeth look so sick. It's got the five fins, which is accurate to the real truck. It's got its little fins back here. The body, I will say, in package, the body looked a lot thicker than what it was. But this truck, it works. It looks so good out of the package. Um... This truck is absolutely epic. It's got the little nostril pieces molded. It's got the red. If I get another one, I'll probably make these pink on, a, on another. If I buy another one, I'll probably take the body apart and pry this down enough so that where I can paint this all pink up here for the jaw. It's got the white belly. You've got the Monster Jam and Hot Wheels logo. The Megalodon logo. 2018, going to be driven by Mr. Sharky Thompson's Sharky Thompson, as Chazzy MP would say, Mr. Sharky Thompson. Or no, sorry, that's Chris B. I've heard Chris B on Sim Monsters and Skype. But man, this truck is amazing. Like, you can even see how, like, the lights, how the lights reflect a little bit and make it look like it's actually got, like, the little pupil. And it does. It, it has the painted pupil, so it's like... Absolutely. I gotta say, this and Gas Monkey, top two of the year for me. I, that's kind of spoiling the video for tomorrow. But dude, this, this thing is just amazing. I love it. I love Megalodon. I can't wait to have this thing on the track. And it'll do some pretty sick wheelies. Glad this is metal and not plastic so we don't like break it. Because this thing's gonna be launching in the downhill drag if it ever comes back. Take a look at the flag. Got the you got the shark, Hot Wheels logo. It's awesome. You see the head of the shark. It's got this big fin on the back. All the teeth looking amazing. Megalodon, the silver Hot Wheels logo, which is epic. Go ahead and mount the flag on the truck. This is just, I, I feel like I'm rushing through this because I want to get it done. Or kind of get it done, but I also want to get to the fact of um, I want to mess with this and put it on the track and play with it because it's amazing. But dude, this truck is just so cool. Like, Megalodon is amazing. So we'll do our little, you know, oh, raise this flag up a little bit. If you get this, the flags are kind of colliding and making sure they're not sliding away from each other. So take a look at these two trucks. Easily, for me, the top two of the year. Absolutely amazing. 
I think you guys can will know what's at the top of my list for the top 12 trucks of the year, like my favorite truck of every case. You know what's going to be my favorite one for both of these cases? But my, oh my, just epic. And just for fun, we'll throw... We're going to throw this in the mix just because we can. Yes, monkey crushing a Dodge Char Challenger Hellcat. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys knew the little music thing I threw in there. I very well might do that and throw a little video clip at the end of the trucks. But yes, there you go. Megalodon steering you down. He's ready to take a bite out of you and the competition in 2018. Because we sure know he took a bite out of the competition in 2018. Or 2017. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will, of course, catch you guys in the next video. And that will be the top 12 trucks of the year so i hope you guys will enjoy that video i know you guys will enjoy this one so this is nathan signing off and saying watch out for sharks